Hi Manzanita, we're taking a virtual field trip today. Well, I'm in the car, you're taking a virtual field trip. Okay, right now we're going over the Vincent Thomas Bridge, so check it out. There's my mom. Here we go, going up over the Vincent Thomas Bridge. This is located in San Pedro, in the port of Los Angeles. We're almost at the top. Here we go. And once you're at the top, you can kind of look over and you can see all of the water down below where the container ships come in and deliver things. So if you ever wonder where you get the toilet paper from, it comes from the container ships. And then the trucks bring it to places like Target and Walmart and the grocery store. So now we're going over the Vincent Thomas Bridge and we're headed into Long Beach. All right, let's see where we take us next. Okay, so check out all of those containers. They have things in them. Things that will end up at the store, clothing, cars. All right, now we are at the Battleship Iowa BB61. This is located in the Port of Los Angeles also. It was commissioned in February 22nd, 1943 for World War II, and it immediately went to battle. Currently, the museum is closed, but if you ever have a chance, come down to San Pedro and you can see it. Okay, where to next? All right, check it out. It's a tugboat. And here at the port, there's also, here's the Coast Guard. That's where they're located. And here at the port of Los Angeles, any container ship that comes through our waters has to be escorted by a pilot boat. So this little boat is where the pilot um, captains go out and they board a container ship and they navigate the waters to bring them in safely into the port of Los Angeles. And they also have to go under tug assistance. So this tugboat probably just put a container ship out to sea and think of the word tug boat. It's a compound word and if you're in third grade you should know that. And so if you turn around, this is warehouse number one in San Pedro. And if you notice, you might recognize it from films such as The Fast and the Furious. All right, this is the Cabrillo Marine Aquarium, or if you're from San Pedro, you call it Cabrillo. My mom is a volunteer here. They have tours, they have an aquatics laboratory, they do research here, they have a touch tank, and so much more. Right now they're closed though. Here is the ocean side of Cabrillo Beach, and here is the lifeguard tower. Okay, think of the word lifeguard. Yep, you guessed it, another compound word. So over here in the open ocean, this is where the sea and all the animals are. Sometimes we see dolphins. Sometimes we go well watching. Oh look, a lifeguard tower. They help keep us safe. Think of the word life and guard. What are they doing? They're guarding your life. Very good. Oh, look at the pelicans. I don't know if you can see them, but they fly in formation. Hey guys, my name's Koa. Um, today I'm lifeguarding for LA City Lifeguard Association. So basically I'm in charge of everything. There's a little decreased harbor activity, as you can see, because of uh, all the news going around. But usually there are a large amount of container ships coming in all over the world that get unloaded right at those docks. Fun fact, uh, whether you know it or not, this uh, port, Long Beach, is the very most southern tip and it is one of the largest uh, areas of import of the whole United States. So anything that you order on Amazon or in the mail, it most likely is going to come straight through that channel on one of those large container ships. So what I'm doing 
uh, in case a boat goes out of power or anything, I'm kind of the eyes that the main headquarters isn't going to see. So I would call or either if it was close enough, I would swim or paddleboard out there and uh, help anyone who falls off the boat or any, any first aid needs over there. Wow, thank you so much. No problem. All right, here is a break water lifeguard tower. This is the open ocean. And here is the fishing pier. And you don't have to have a license for one day of fishing down here in San Pedro. And if you look further out, there is Angel's Gate Lighthouse. And if you look between the two breaks of where the rocks are, that is where the container ships come in to the port.